Hi there, this is David, and I have some good news and some bad news for y'all. As many of you are aware, PlayStation Plus recently announced that two really good classic PlayStation 1 RPGs are going to be released um, on their service on February the 21st. Well, at least they said they were two really good classic JRPGs. As far as I'm concerned, there's one really good classic JRPG, and that is Wild Arms 2. This one gets a bad rap, mostly because of its weird translation. But other than that, I'm here to say that this one is one of the best in the series, really. It did introduce that search system on the world map, which I'm not really a fan of, but this took everything that Wild Arms 1 did and just expanded upon it. Now you have six different characters in your party. You can switch them around at any time. You have a huge world map to explore. Um, it's a great uh, long game. It's actually two discs. The first game was only one disc at the time, and it's just a whole lot of fun. It doesn't wear out its welcome like the third game does. It doesn't have the hex battle system like the fourth and the fifth game does. This is just good, traditional, turn-based fun. And if you haven't played this game before, I highly, highly recommend it as one of the best games on the original PlayStation. The other RPG that's being released is Legend of Dragoon, and I've talked extensively about this game on my channel over the past couple of years since I've been on YouTube, and the majority of the time that I've talked about this game, it hasn't actually been in a positive light, and there's a reason for that. I didn't really like Legend of Dragoon whenever it first came out 20-something years ago, and I know that a lot of other people did. I really do think that there's a lot of nostalgia going on with that, because I hate to break it to you, but this game is just not that good. I'm very sorry. It has nothing to do with the long loading times, or the weirdo translation, or anything else like that. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it has some decent music, but the core gameplay, the battle system, is atrocious. Absolutely probably the worst I have ever seen in my entire life. It is just so completely terrible, and that is what I want to talk about here. So if you think that somehow you missed some diamond in the rough back in the day and you never played it or you didn't have access to it. Maybe you're from Europe and it wasn't released over there or something and you think, oh, this is going to be great. I can't wait to play it. I'm here to say temper your expectations. This one, not so hot. Let's start and let me tell you why. So just like normal, pretty much you go around and you gather a whole bunch of party members, but they're not really different. Every single one of them is pretty much the same because they are all fighters. They're all fighters. You cannot, you can't use magic in this game. The only time that you can use magic is in your Dragoon form. And even then, you can barely cast anything because you barely have MP. And it's not like you can like turn into a Dragoon all the time. It's a really, really rare occurrence and you pretty much only want to save that for boss fights. So what I want to talk about is the 99% of the time that you're fighting as a human, where literally all you're doing is attacking. Nothing else, no strategy, nothing, just attacking. Normally just attacking wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Yeah, it's boring, but it's, you know, serviceable. But here there's something called the addition system that makes attacking horrible. So, you know how, like in Paper Mario, there's timed attacks, and you just hit the A button in the right amount of time, and then, boom, you'll deal some, like, additional damage. Like, you might deal 10 damage, but if you hit the A button at the right time, then you'll deal 15 damage, something like that. The addition system is similar, but worse in so many ways. So, let's talk about it. Instead of just hitting the A button once per addition, you probably have to hit it, like, six, seven, eight times per addition, per character, per party member, constantly. And the window for opportunity for doing this is minuscule. It's like a tenth of a second. It's tiny. And it's not like if you miss the addition, oh, okay, well, you're supposed to hit, you know, 10 damage. 
Um, so I, but I missed the addition, so I'll still hit that 10, I just won't get that 15, you know? It doesn't work that way. Instead, it's like, okay, well, with the addition, you'll hit the max damage of 10. But since you didn't hit the addition, uh, and you only got like one out of the five additions that you had to hit, you're only going to deal two damage. But if you hit all five of your additions, then you'll hit 10. That's how additions work in Legend of Dragoon. It actively punishes you for not doing the additions. They don't actually deal additional damage. By hitting all of them, it allows you to actually hit the 100% point of your damage. So it works counterintuitively to how you might think. Then, each party member does have additional additions, and you're going to have to work towards those additions. The only way to do that is by hitting all of those additions and all the right button combinations and presses 80 times perfectly. And then you unlock the next addition, which is even harder to do. It just gets worse and worse and worse till you're at a point where like you're like, okay, maybe like the level three edition is a happy medium. I can actually do that edition and I'll just stick to that to the end of the game. Yeah, it's not gonna make my damage output as good and it's gonna, it's gonna make these dra battles drag on even longer, but at least I'm not gonna be, you know, frustrated. It's just terrible. Now, earlier I did say that magic really wasn't a thing and it's not. The only way that you can cast spells out of Dragoon form is by using magical items. Here's the problem with that, though. There's a 32 item limit. You can only have 32 items in your satchel at any one time. It's horrible. So there's also six different elements. So you're going to want at least one of each magic item. That's, you know, six different slots picked up right there plus your healing potions, plus incidentals, plus whatever else. You're constantly fighting against this inventory limit. Whenever you do use the magical items in battle, which is probably just going to be the boss fights, it's not just as easy as choosing the item. It's choosing the item and then mashing the X button so fast, so hard, that you just want to scream. Like, you got to hit that thing so hard and so fast, because the more you do, the more you boost it. And I swear, this is probably like where my arthritis began, was hitting this stupid X button for these magical items. It was so ridiculous. Another thing is, gold is incredibly hard to come by. So if you think that, okay, I can just buy a whole bunch of magical items, it'll be fine. No, not really, because you really can't buy much of anything. It takes forever to get gold. I remember that there was like some super secret or super powerful accessories in this game and they cost like 10,000 gold each, and that is like end game amount of gold is 10,000 gold. It, it, it's Everything is just so expensive. To further drag at battles, I know, let, let's just make it even worse. You can't use any sort of magic outside of battle. So the only way to heal outside of battle would be to use heal potions. But you don't really want to carry a whole lot of heal potions with you because of your limited inventory space. So, the real way, the best way to heal is by defending in battle. Each time that you defend, it restores 10% of your HP. So, you're going to be sitting there in battle, defending, like you do like this like rotation, where you defend with one person to heal them back up, and then maybe you attack with your two other people struggling through these additions, only to then rotate the next round, have somebody else defend, get their HP back up, have the other people use additions. It just takes forever to get through any battles because not everybody's attacking. You're constantly missing with these stupid additions that don't do additional damage. They only get you up to about 100% damage. So you're constantly screwed on your damage output. Every time you're going through dungeons, like you're always going through your inventory, dropping extraneous items. You can't sell anything. It's just terrible. Speaking of terrible, there's a world map, but it's not explorable. It's just following one line. All you do is you follow one line from point A to point B, but it's not like you go from dungeon to town and then boom, you're there, because that one line is interspersed with more random battles, further slowing you down. Woohoo! This was billed as the Final Fantasy Killer. I remember every single magazine back in the day. This was the Final Fantasy VII Killer. This was Sony's answer 
to the Final Fantasy series. This thing was just going to blow it out of the water. It was going to be so good. But Final Fantasy VII was good, and it didn't bother you and bog you down. You got through your battles pretty freaking fast. And also, there was a ton of side quests to be had, too. Guess how many side quests Legend of Dragoon has? Two. Exactly. Two. Two whole frickin' side quests. That's how much extra time went into this great Final Fantasy killer. There's just so many problems with it, and I don't want to rain in your parade, and I don't want to be the Debbie Downer, and I don't want to, like, just, you know, shit all over it or whatever, but I do want to warn you and let you know that this is not some lost gem, some lost classic that you totally missed out on or anything like that. This one was just bad. I'm sorry. It was just bad. I know and I know that there's like this 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 train out there of people who are like, oh, this is the best game ever. Everybody loves it. I'm here to say, I don't know what they're smoking, I don't know what they're on, because this game is just not that good. Do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. Maybe play it, see what it's all about, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Take those rose-colored glasses off. This isn't all that hot. Let me know what you feel about this in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed Legend of Dragoon or if you don't enjoy it. And as always, have a good day.